Hi guys, uh, welcome to season two of David and Caroline's Excellent Sailing Adventures 2020. If you don't know us, I'm Caroline. And therefore I must be David. Uh, some of you will know that we left the boat in Gaeta in Italy last November. We flew out actually on the 8th of March this year. It seemed two days before most of the world seemed to close down. So we have been isolated in Italy for about three and a half months. And I have to say, it's been an absolutely fantastic time for us. There are very few cases in Gaeta itself. There aren't uh, any. Uh, but no, not, not that we're aware of. Um, and the marina have been absolutely fantastic. The food shops are open. Not many shortages. No shortage of toilet rolls. No, we have plenty of toilet rolls. In fact, we have enough toilet rolls to last all year, I think. So um, there was no panic buying? No. <laughs> um, but uh, the main food shops were open. You'll see a little bit later in the video that um, there was a local street that was called Independenza where the little food shops were open. Um, we've done a bit of a video, or Caroline's taken some videos and some pictures of our time here. Uh, the marina itself were absolutely fantastic. And, uh, they kept uh, us informed the whole time, didn't they, what they, was going on? They did. Uh, they sent us out emails because in Italy they were doing it by region and nationally. Obviously, the centre of the virus was up in the north, where all the industry was. And there were local rules, I think it's a mayoral thing, where the, the regionally they can make different rules. But the, the marina were fantastic, and they kept us in touch uh, with what was going on and what the announcements are. So, uh, sit back and enjoy some of the uh, photos and videos that we've taken. This shows the track that we've done um and all the places that we've been to since we left the UK. David came down to Omaha by himself and then the rest is uh, the track that we did last year and the different places that we have visited. I've been busy doing the washing and uh, made an order to the uh, British Corner Shop to get the essentials that you can't live without, loads of tins of baked beans. Uh, Dean's been playing with his drone, so here's a couple of fantastic uh, pictures. You'll note that we've added some solar to ours, which is the boat in the middle. Uh, and this is from up by the top of our mast. Um, we did some great work over the winter. Uh, additional solar, uh, we put some davits on to carry the dinghy instead of having to load it on the deck. Uh, we have to thank our friends Ant and Sid from SV in Pavidus because whilst we were away Ant did some brilliant repair work for me on some smashed fibreglass. He's done a video which I'll put in the link below but just look there's the damage and now look. All done, mate. Job's a good one. Hi, Olive. This is uh, Grandad doing some sewing. He's making some cushion covers. Hi, Al. How are you doing? It's cold and wet and raining here. So we're having a day inside, keeping ourselves busy, doing some sewing. I'll send you a picture of the finished cushion covers later hope you're enjoying yourself love you bye. bye when I say we've done a lot of work I really do mean and look at the repair he did on the table invisible uh, he persuaded me to refurbish the cockpit as well which is sanding down and varnishing we made between us he did uh, the fly screens for the muzzies um, we've ripped up all the bilges because we had water in and it turned out to be the water heater the uh, exhaust muffler so we took the opportunity to clean and dry out all the bilges uh, so we are getting ready to leave we may, may not be lifted this year so we've hand polished the side of the boat cleaning the water line getting everything ready and uh, I was very very proud of myself because I did manage to repair a non-working um, 
navigation light on the bow. Did you mend that electric? I did. <laughs> All by yourself? Far, well, no, I had a little bit of guidance from the mentor. But? All hands on by yourself? I did rather do it by myself, yes. And I've just found some treasure. This is going to catch a tuna. Fantastic. Stainless steel, three trebles, stainless steel. Brilliant. So that is going to catch a tuna, that is. We get our wine from Pepe at £1.60 a litre. You take your empty water bottle and he fills it up. Uh, Anna, one of the family owners of the marina, was always visiting. This time it was uh, homemade orange marmalade from the trees in her garden. Uh, later on she brought these uh, enormous uh, lemons, uh, which Caroline then made some lemon tart and lemon curd with. Um, so we've had a fantastic time. Uh, the marina has been brilliant. Um, we had a surprise gift from Roxy, Ant and Sid's daughter. A couple of um, SV Eternity t-shirts for me and a great little canvas bag. Uh, Andy sent a Red Cross food parcel with some dried yeast, baking powder, uh, some um, uh, barbecue tongs. Uh, so we're ready to go. The USS Mount Whitney is the United States uh, flagship and command ship for the 6th Fleet and also serves as a command vessel and strike force for NATO. So it's good to know they're looking after us and here they are doing a few exercises with their helicopter. This is the old town of Gaeta. It got uh, damaged a lot during the war and they developed uh, the new part of the town further down the hill. Can you see the clouds that are only halfway up the mountain and how flat they are on the bottom? Yeah. Oh, say can you see? We went uh, with Mike and uh, Ant and Cindy and the two dogs, Oscar and Lady, up to the top of the hill to try and have a look at the split uh, rock and also the um, grotto but they were both closed so we couldn't see either but we had a fantastic walk up there and uh, have taken those, these photos This was all we could see of the split rock and the grotto. This is Independa, the uh, street we were talking about. There's Pepe. The famous Pepe who turns water into wine. Um, as the town began to open up after the virus uh, we took a few videos during the day and the evening to show you what a fantastic little independent street this is. Buongiorno, buongiorno. This is one of those Tayala shops, isn't it? 
Tjæler. Tjæler. We've got to get Rustica in, haven't we? It's for real, Rustica. We really are getting ready to leave now because there's a f two trays of beers for the boys looking after our boats. We started to have some pontoon parties getting ready to go. There are now four of us on this little flotilla of ours. Anton Sid, Caroline and myself, Dean and Linda, and our American friends, Phil and Christina, who've joined us. So we had to have a farewell pizza, didn't we? Um, Mike, uh, who we'll talk about in a moment, is a, a guy we met over here who's uh, got a 44 foot cat. He's hopefully going to join us when all the work's done. He, he had a lightning strike last October, blew out a lot of his electronics and a lot of his gear. Uh, but it's nearly all done now. And we had a night on his boat, which was fantastic. It's a 44-foot catamaran, lagoon, massive boat. That one with the three people below that's that. That's Cindy, Roxanne and mine. That's the new one. That's, 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 that's cool. Oh, I have never seen it from the front. Oh, the big windows there. It's a big boat. We particularly wanted to see it at night because he's got some underwater lights. As you can see, uh, the whole marina is beginning to uh, come to life again. The cafe is open. There are mics, um, fantastic underwater lights. And uh, there's a clip coming up shortly as us beginning to leave Gaeta for our 2020 season. So hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And uh, Caroline tells me it's the Bay of Naples next. So have fun everyone and see you soon. Bye bye Gaeta. It's been an absolute blast. Stay safe everyone. See you soon.